Local election headquarters, and today we're also recapping the Indiana primary. A lot of long lines, and now party leaders are looking ahead to the fall with a lot of questions about how things will go in November. My expectation, as we say here today, is if things continue on that track, that we would have a fall election according to Indiana law without really any adjustment or changes by the election commission. The more opportunities you can give people to vote in an election, uh, pandemic or not, is something Democrats are going to push for and continue to push for. Still a lot of debate about how to conduct the November election, but we do know who will be involved, at least in that big race in the 5th Congressional District where Susan Brooks is retiring at the end of the year. State Senator Victoria Sparks won the Republican primary Tuesday night, beating 14 other candidates. On the Democratic side, it's former State Rep Christina Hale, who's hoping to flip the district from red to blue for the first time ever. I spoke with her this week. You know, this is the one of the most highly educated districts in the nation, and people really care about who they're voting for, and they're informed voters. And we're facing some of the most significant issues of modern times, whether it's um, public health, whether it is what's happening with our environment, gun violence, and certainly um, our issues now with racial unrest. It is time that we bring solutions to people. And I am looking forward to this run for Congress to talk about the things that matter most to people and to get things done. What's it going to take to win this race? It's going to take a lot of communication with the people that you hope to represent. Um, it is a challenging time because of COVID, but, you know, constituent contact and getting out and talking to people about kitchen table issues, what's affecting them. And families are challenged right now. We've had tens of thousands of, of Hoosiers applying for unemployment. We have had so many people infected with and dying of COVID. We've got our main streets throughout this district that are suffering right now. And we've got to focus on these issues, that these problems that people need solutions for. All right, as for Sparts, she put out a statement Tuesday night thanking her supporters. I spoke with her late last month about the political dynamics in the 5th District. Is this becoming more of a purple district? And, and how do you respond to those uh, who might suggest uh, that, that you might be further right than uh, the district is now? It's interesting because people always say that, but I have a lot of legislation and the state senate that I had a lot of Democrats supporting and being in my bills, you know, and actually wonderful relations with Democrats in the Senate. A full recap of all the results from Tuesday's primary on our website. You can see them right there. All right, coming up next, we will talk with our panel and later we'll look at some of the newest polling data on race relations in America and what it means ahead of November's elections. Stick around. We'll be right back.